usually on the thrashing machine when i was on the farm we used a bigger tractor than this one here we used a gas powered um, tractor and as opposed to a steam engine that they're using today uh, the pulley on the side of the tractor was about that size or a little bit bigger that ran the belt to the thrashing machine and so now you'll see that uh, they're using a steam engine and you can see the big belt that's running the, uh, from the steam engine to the thrashing machine and that was usually hooked up to the tractor that we had on the farm and then you can see that there's two people on the wagon throwing the shocks into the thrashing machine uh, we also did at one time have two wagons one on each side and then you could have one person on each wagon and they alternated throwing shocks into the machine into the thrashing machine or you could just have one wagon and use two people and then you can see it takes it in there and it separates the oats and at that time it was the oats but you could still do wheat and it separates the oats from the um, stalks and the stalks are being blown out one end and the wheat gets stored up inside in a hopper that records the number of bushels that you're getting and then when it reaches to a certain point then you release the uh, hopper and it puts the wheat in the wagon and then it closes off or shuts off the hopper again until you get so many bushels of wheat in there and then it releases the wheat this was awful hard work it usually be uh, sometimes 80 90 degrees uh, you'd be out in the middle of the field no shade whatsoever and you'd be unloading the either one wagon or two wagons uh, there'd be a guy standing on top all the time it was always so dirty and dusty uh, you would just be covered with uh, dust and dirt and uh, and then we'd take a lunch and my grandma would bring us a great meal to eat during our lunchtime. We'd sit in the shade of the machine and have our noon meal and, um, and then continue. It went on for at least two days, three days doing this. And then we go to neighbors' farms and do the same thing. So basically when the boats were ready, we'd travel around to different farms doing the same thing. Yep. About all Did I you have chores you. at morning and, and night? And then we had to do, um, we milked cows in the morning, did this all day long, and then we had to milk um, in the evening, and then we also had to feed the hogs, and at that time, all the other animals uh, that they had on the farm, we had to take care of morning and night. And then somewhere in there, we had to collect eggs and wash eggs and get those ready. Uh, so we were busy all day long. Usually we got up at 4.35 o'clock in the morning to do chores because we were new. We were going to be doing this all day long. And so we had to get the chores done and do this. This was hard work. Was there any danger? Uh, the only danger was, was when the wagon was barely or full is that you wanted to make sure you had good, good balance and uh, good footing so that you didn't fall into the tray there and go through the machine. Um, so you really had to be careful. Once you got the, the shocks down to the floor of the trailer or the wagon, uh, then you had pretty firm, firm footing. But until then, you had to really be careful. And these shocks, you know, they, they look like they're light, but they actually are heavy. And if you're doing that all day long, they probably weighed, the shocks probably weighed 20, 30 pounds, some of them 40 pounds each, and you're doing that all day long.